Hi, I'm Dave Ingebrigtsen with Slayton Solutions in Chicago, Illinois. And today, we're going to hook it up. Today's demonstration will include the use of the Axis Q1755 HD IP camera. We will use the NVT EC1701 POC power over coax with Ethernet transceivers of which there will be two of them and the related power supply. Now the power supply is normally located at the head end and then you can connect these transceivers to coax cable and CAD5E cable to take the Ethernet and the power over Ethernet out to the device that you want to connect to and power. The testers will be using are the Byte Brothers Real World Certifier to test for cable distance and also the Byte Brothers Power Panel. The Power Panel will show us how much PoE power is available at after we've got things hooked up. For our Let's Hook It Up test we'll be using this box of Genesis RG59U coax cable and if you can see it on the tester, and it's kind of hard to see, but this cable is 925 feet long. The real world certifier has a TDR or time domain reflectometer built into it that tells you how long cables are. And length is very important when planning to use NVT EC1701 uh, Ethernet to coax adapters. Uh, the length of the cable needs to be known. Later during the test, we will be using two boxes of approximately 495 or 500 feet of standard CAT5E UTP cable. To connect the devices to our viewing computer, we'll be using the D-Link DHP540 four-port network switch. This switch also provides Ethernet over AC power lines, which is something we'll get to in a later video. To view the results of our testing, we'll be using my battered old Sony six-year-old laptop running Windows XP. Here we have connected the NVT EC1701s to the 925 feet of coax cable, which is then connected as we move from the cable towards the right connected to the power panel from the Byte Brothers that will show us how much power is being delivered also is connected to the camera which is also on the right. On the left we see the network switch and we also see the computer screen which has the image from the camera on it. Now it's important to note that this camera is set at 720i resolution and 15 frames per second and is using H.264 compression. Here you see the measurement of the video stream that is coming from the camera to the PC. This is using a software, a freeware called Land Monitor. Here you can see that our download speed, that would be the video coming to the laptop right now, is roughly 600 kilobytes in size. And here you can see the image of the camera which is set at 720i resolution 15 frames per second and using H.264 compression. Here you see the NVT EC1701s as they function transmitting the Ethernet communications from the camera and delivering the PoE power to the camera. Notice that they have three LEDs on them. One of the very nice features about this product is that the LEDs tell you the whole story. The blue LED is a power LED. The green LEDs are communication LEDs. When using these devices, if properly hooked up, if one, of the, one or more of those LEDs is not either lit or blinking, there is a problem that needs to be addressed.
Here you see the readout of the Byte Brothers Power Panel PoE Tester. This is connected in line between the NVT EC1701 transceiver and, in this case, the Axis camera. Now what this tester tells you is how much current is being drawn by the camera and since it's being drawn from all, from all four pairs you get 2.2 watts on one set and you're getting 3 watts on the other so you're drawing roughly 5 to 6 watts of power and then you'll see that it uh, flashes up the voltage and this is delivering 44 to 45 volts of power through the EC1701s to the camera and as you have seen the camera is functional. Now don't try this at home. I'm a professional. I've been in the industry for 37 years and I'm wearing safety glasses. What you see on the table here from the left to the right is my laptop connected to the network switch which is connected to 500 feet of CAT5E cable which is connected to the NVT EC1701 which is on the left. It is connected through the, the 925 feet of coax cable to the NVT EC1701 on the right which is then connected to 500 feet of CAT5E cable which is then connected to the Byte Brothers power panel tester which is then connected to the camera. As you see the light on the camera is green and if you look at the computer screen on the left you see me moving my hands and you know that we are getting video from this camera through roughly 2,000 feet of standard cable. With this amount of cable notice that we've dropped roughly 1 to 2 volts in the PoE power feed to the camera but the camera is still functional and is still drawing roughly the same amount of wattage of power approximately 6 watts of PoE power. Here on the LAN monitor screen we see that we are still receiving roughly 600 kilobytes of data from the camera every second the same amount we were getting before when we were hooked up to the 1000 feet of coaxial cable. So from this demonstration you should have seen that the NVT EC1701s can easily transmit large bandwidth IP video over great distances of coax cable and CAT5E UTP cable. These products along with others are really great things for our industry because now we can use existing coax cables, existing UTP, and existing twisted pair cable to connect up the latest and greatest in IP enabled physical security devices. And remember it doesn't have to be a camera, it can be a card access reader, it can be a, a control panel, it can be anything that's IP can be connected to existing cabling. By using existing cabling you will save thousands of dollars in installation costs and it will make your bids lower cost which will make you more competitive and help you sell more jobs. I thank you for watching this video. This is Dave Engerbritsen with Sladen Solutions and have a nice day.